Hi. Me and Lucy wanted to say a few words today about the fur trade. We uh, found out that some retailers in the United States during Christmas were selling coats that had collars made from dog fur from uh, <clears throat> animal farms in China. And that brought to mind the problem of the fur trade in the whole world. And uh, I wanted to mention that. I wanted to say that uh, you can uh, go to a website called nofur.com. You, uh, you can Google, for instance, the fur trade in China. And it's not just China. We're talking Russia, Norway, Canada, United States. And uh, it's an important issue. It's also an important issue for us as spiritualists because, you know, spirituality or dharma, you know, stands for also morality. And one of the basic keys of morality is trying to live in the world in such a way that you cause the least amount of pain and suffering to other living beings. And, and for, for example, a dog is a very developed living being. And, uh, you know, Lucy had a nice bath today. She saw shampooed and she's happy. You know, she has beautiful fur, but I don't want to hurt her. You know, I don't, I don't want to hurt her with a blow dryer. I don't want to hurt her with a comb brushing. I certainly don't want to kill her and skin her for her fur to keep my little neck warm. Uh, there, you know, we develop, we live in an age of society and technology where we can develop synthetic fibers that are very warm. This is very warm, what I'm wearing. And it requires no fur, it requires no, no, requires no suffering on the parts of human, human beings or animals. And when we kill animals, we suffer. We suffer tremendously. And, uh, you know, for those who are trying to, you know, I, at some point I'll probably tell you some, some experiences on the deeper spiritual level. But, you know, basic cardinal human values are really like a beginning point in yoga, a beginning point for attempting to meditate. I mean, it's true there is grace, but we, we need to make some effort too. Don't we, Lucy, huh? So I know there are cultures where, where dogs are put down. I've seen some people from cultures in the East who came to my house and, and, look, and looked at my dog, not this dog, but another dog, and, in an odd way. And it made me wonder, you know, it made me wonder how, how, how long it's gonna take us to become enlightened. Because enlightenment is immediate if you if you want it, and if we don't want it, it'll never come. But uh, let's put some pressure on these people who are killing dogs. Okay? Can you imagine killing dogs for fur? Not just dogs, mink, raccoon, every fur-bearing animal, uh, beaver, muskrat, all of them. They deserve better. They deserve for us to help them have a happier life, not a <clears throat> more miserable life. And so doing, maybe we can have a happier life. So, namaskar, huh? Right? Namaskar.